I'm designing an origami thing. Yeah, I'll share my screen. It probably isn't interesting, but. Oh, I'm interested. Is there software for that? Or just like sketching? Uh, there is software. Whoa. So this is an origami simulator. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And so this is what it looks like unfolded. And I have an error, which is what that means. Um, and this is what it looks like folded. It's a little hard to tell what goes in and out. And this is what I'm trying to build, which is somebody else's project. Whoa. Um, Neat. And then I have created a Python uh, script so that I can type hieroglyphics at it and get new uh, new patterns, which I then download and upload to the simulator. Um, simulator is not perfect because if I fold it all the way, things will overlap and then I get these weird things that are odd. But what's worse is that this flat line is really easy to fold all the way, but the curved lines don't fold all the way. And so this isn't a great representation because it's it's not taking that into an account, but it's easier than folding this 97 times myself. And I can see where the hard parts are. And see, this is actually telling me that this uh, round ones are harder to fold than the um, straight ones. And it looks like it's actually just segments of straight lines to simulate the the curve. Yes. Or is that just a rendering artifact? Okay. No, it's it's uh, it's designed to do straight want lines. Um, let me see. It's probably this this tool is probably much better to show off. Not straight. Show me the real thing. So this is a a standard crane. And what it looks like if you unfolded it after, Whoa. and then as you fold it, I'm showing you the wrong side. Uh, it comes down and. And these guys come up and that transformation it did, it did not respect the paper boundaries. And so it went through the paper, but in the end it succeeded. There are a lot more interesting ones though. Um, Is there an order to the folds? In here, not so much. Okay. Um, I think it tries to fold the longest first. Um, but it will continue to try to fold whatever it can. Wow. I love the whirlpools when they just came out, out in here. Um, this one's pretty fun. That's such a cool, complex pattern from just this simple, like, tessellated design. Oh, the whirlpools? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I've been trying to do those with curves. They're... They're fun. That's how I ended up with 97 snails around me. Uh, wow, they have a bunch of new curved ones. Hmm. Oh, this one's really fun. Uh, let me put it flat so that it doesn't make sense. Um, this one's pretty easy to do at home, too. Unless you have a cricket, in which case all of these are easy to do. Uh, curved treble clef. Okay, so you, you just cut this out. I mean, exacto knife, and then you fold along this the central line. And curved lines cannot lie flat; they just can't. Mm -hmm. And it will. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, not only amazing. cross over, but as you fold more. Oh, it's got that. Um, it should cross back. Okay, it's not going to. Unfold, unfold. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. What else, what else do they have in the new curved crease section? Uh, oh, it's pretty freakish looking. I love the curved creases, but this program, it's hard for this program to do. Really? 
This is an error, folks. <laughs> They have the comet. The comet was what I was going to design next. Damn it. Oh, yeah. I oh, would never that, have gotten that's that. That's so cool. Oh, no. I would Whoa. never have succeeded. Here I have the comet in it. Another image. Comet to this one. That's what the comment says. Oh, cool. That really evokes a comment. Yeah. And it, I was, it was seriously on my next list. So I guess I just get to fold it, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's, that's what I've been doing with my, uh, with my weekend so far. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to fold that. Let's save SVG. Sweet. First of all, be so surprised. So for the script in the uh, notebook, um, what things do you get to change? Is it blue and red lines? <laughs> so, uh, let me see if there's a, a line up here. That will show what they all are. So curves can be broken into uh, a number of different parts. This is my base curve. And this one is an algebraic kernel. But I have uh, the Witch of Agnasi, a bump kernel, and a Gaussian kernel, which all look pretty similar. But if I want to play with one thing or another. Um, and so I have this bit here, uh, which I have the whole thing here, which since it's going down, I'm calling that A. I'm calling the reflexive it uh, uh, U. And then I can have capital U's or little U's. And this is a C and this is a B. And then there are other things I can do, but they're all based on those curves. So I, I have a whole bunch of different curves. And then I can make some slashes and some horizontal lines, some blanks, uh, pipes, or vertical lines. And so I can. And they just all oh, that is so cool. come to the same points so that they'll they'll meet when you well, tile them. Uh, it it would be nice if they did, but realistically, no. They they come ah. to the same points because I fuss with them. <laughs> okay. Um, but then once I have, I mean, once I have a set, I can just copy it. And now I get a much longer. Nice. Neat. So, yes, this is. Uh, do I have any other patterns I've worked on in here? That one ends up pretty cute. The swirls. This is usually where things go to. Uh, for me to try to figure out somebody else's design. Um, I've tried to do some of my own designs, but it's, it's pretty hard to decide what's gonna look good from here, which is why the simulator is so nice. Um, I was trying to make one that looks like uh, waves and a, a whale tail in the middle of waves. Did not work. Curves are very hard. And you can predict them, but I can't design and predict. They're different parts mm -hmm. of my brain.
you can put in your own SVGs and it will fold things for you. So. Uh, if I want to import something I've been working on, um, that's the last one that I was working on. And it asks me if it's got curves, which this one does. It yells at me because I don't have it perfect. And now I can try out if my origami is going to look like what I want it to look like, depending on how forcefully I fold it. And the truth is, no, it's not going to, because I want it to look like that one. Um, but it's much closer than the flat piece of paper I started with. 